Okay, so Mr. Wilmot wants me to be in a video, so I gotta make sure my hair looks good. Hair's looking good, Mr. Highfield. Fantastic, thank you. You ready for Hollywood? Mr. Highfield, your hair looks good. It does? It's made for Hollywood, man. You don't need to fix it. Excellent. You're good, man. So, in this case, I want to remind you that your finger goes on the side. Your thumb's on top. The rest of your fingers are underneath. You're going to start the frisbee by your belly button, but your belly button's not going to face your partner. You're going to turn to the side, and then you're going to step with your front foot and point. Notice that Mr. Highfield and I, we're not far apart. We're only about maybe six steps away from each other. So one, two, three, four, we're five steps away from each other. So I recommend five or six steps, not far because we're not throwing it hard to our partner. In this case, I'm going to throw softly. You get one point if your partner can swat the frisbee down at the ground close to your feet. So I'm going to toss it lightly. He's going to swat it down. Boom! Just like you're giving the frisbee a spanking. Even though it didn't do anything wrong. So we got one point. I'm ready now. Hold the frisbee, thumb on top, finger, hands, keep it level. Are you ready, Mr. Wong? I'm ready. Two points. So we're swatting it down at the ground. Nice. Three points. Now, boys and girls, you have to step and point at your partner when you're throwing the frisbee. If Mr. Highfield was going too fast and just did like one of these motions, the frisbee would go way over there. I want to be able to get that. So you have to step and throw right at your partner so it doesn't go too far. You also need to keep your frisbee flat. Flat like a pancake. So keep it flat like a pancake so it goes straight. Oh yeah, keep getting those points. Let's see what you got, people. Before you pick up equipment, you're going to sanitize your hands. So right now, if Mr. Highfield and I are partners, I ask him to be my partner. He agrees to it. Um, going to sanitize my hands. He's going to sanitize his. Now we can share the frisbee together. Boom. You guys at home probably don't need to worry about that as much as we do because you're probably going to play catch with somebody that's in your family, and that's okay too. Um, so. Uh, we're going to get the frisbee. Reminder, when you're throwing the frisbee, your index finger is on the edge of the frisbee. Your thumb is on top. The rest of your fingers are underneath. Remember to start the frisbee by your belly button, assuming that you're doing a standard throw. Uh, your belly button will not face your partner. It will be to the side. You're going to step with your front foot. And then keep your eye and then keep the frisbee level. Mr. Highfield and I are just going to move a little bit away from you guys into the grass over here so that we are in our personal space. We're going to get about 15 to 20 feet away from each other. And we're going to do a light pass to my partner. So keeping the proper throw. I don't need to throw it hard. I don't need to throw it fast. I don't need to try to do a kami kami ha and blow him uh, backwards five feet. So I'm just doing a soft throw to my partner. Now, when my partner is going to catch it, there's two ways to catch it. You can catch it doing the talky 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 way. And what I mean by that is when you're catching it, you're grabbing it like you're doing a, like you're symbolizing somebody that's talking too much. You can even do it upside down like that. Um, or do it the gator way where you're chomping and catching it. So if I'm throwing it to Mr. Highfield, I'm not trying to throw it hard. I'm doing a nice soft throw. He does the gator catch. And now he's gonna throw it back to me. 
I do the talky talky catch. Either way works. So you and your partner are just going to throw back and forth. Now, in this first step, if you feel, hey, Mr. Highfield, you and I, we've had about six throws that have been right on it. We, you know, it's everything has been perfect. Let's take a couple steps back. So now we just go a little bit further away and still have success. Again, I'm still not trying to throw hard, fast. I'm trying to get the ball, uh, not ball, I'm trying to get the frisbee right back to him. Okay, we've had success that way too. So now we can back up a little bit further. When I say that, I'm not talking about 100 feet away. It probably shouldn't be more than 30 feet away. So um, just have a good time playing catch with your partner. This time, you're going to throw the frisbee to your partner as your partner is in motion. So you're going to get a little jog, a kind of like a quarterback would throw it to a receiver in football. So, uh, so your partner will do a little jog and you have to predict where your partner is moving. You're going to have to throw ahead of your partner and they're going to run and catch up. See uh, how Mr. Highfield and I do it. So if I'm the thrower in this case, we'll go over to a little area here. Again, you don't need to be very far from your partner to practice this skill. Um, let your partner know what direction you intend on throwing. Uh, in this case, it's pretty obvious. I'm gonna throw this way because Mr. Highfield would not run straight into uh, the fence. <laughs> so he's gonna go this way. All right, Mr. Hartfield, ready, set, go. I throw it ahead, and he runs to catch up to it. So now he will be the thrower, and I'm going to run, and he's going to predict where I will be, and I will catch it on my run. What you don't want to do, you don't want to aim for where your partner is right now. If he starts running and I throw it to where he was, He's already gone from that point. He has nothing to catch. And it's very hard to stop and then try to turn backwards. So you have to predict where they're running to and let your partner run up and catch it. So get in your personal space. Again, you don't have to be very far away. You'll have more success if you're about 15 to 20 feet from your partner, okay? Go for it. For our next step, you and your partner are going to start next to each other. It's going to be more like if I was a quarterback on a football team saying hike and the receiver goes out. So now when I say go, he's going to go straight, but he's going to look at me as he's running and I'm going to throw it. And then when he's ready, he's going to stop and try to catch it. Ready, set, go. Oh, almost, he almost had it. Okay, now it's gonna be his turn to throw it. And then I will run out. Are you ready? Ready, go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or your partner would throw it to you um, if you were playing a, a game of handball. Never. Just always keep it level like that. No. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be watching TV and I'm going to be circling the TV and going upside down. <laughs> Um. Throw it to me, Mr. Wilmot. Here you go, bro. Can you catch this? All right, hold on. I'm going to throw it softly. Can you catch it? I got it. I got it. Oh. Mm. Woo. 
Hello. <laughs> 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 oh, brother. <laughs>